What is up YouTube? Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing the five things I think you need to have to be successful in Olympic weightlifting. Thank you for tuning in back to another video. But before we get started, I wanted to thank you guys. You guys have been killing it. You guys have been liking the videos. You guys have been commenting. We're at 1.08K. It's pretty crazy because I just hit a thousand and we're already up 80 subs. So you guys are killing it. I appreciate the support so much. Make sure to hit that like button. Let's get this video to, let's say 60 likes. We got, we got to 50 last time, which I asked for. So let's get this video to 60 likes. Also, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitch because I do stream. It is a great way for you guys to ask me questions and say what's up. I do enjoy playing video games and I figured might as well stream and talk to you guys at the same time. By the time you guys are watching this, school started and I'm going to try to get into a good little rhythm and then I'll set up a good stream schedule. But right now I don't really have one. I just go live whenever. So make sure to follow me on Instagram, turn notifications on on Twitch so you know when I do go live and you can come hang out with me. That's all for that. Let's get this video started. My name is Nate. I am a junior Olympic weightlifter. I really haven't done anything in the sport of weightlifting, haven't accomplished much, but I've been doing it for five years. I've made a few teams here and there. I've medaled a few times at national meets. So, you know, I have a, I have a little bit of knowledge that I, I want to sprinkle off to you guys. Not, not, I'm not, I'm nobody crazy, but I figured I had, I have a little bit to offer you guys. So let's get started. So the first thing I think you need to be successful in Olympic weightlifting is a coach, a good coach actually you know what I'm saying if you want to be successful in the sport you are definitely going to need a good coach I think a good coach is someone who can push you but also know your limits so they push you right to that point and above they hold you accountable and there's someone that you can buy into because if you buy into your coach and the coach buys into you, you guys will have a great coach athlete relationship which is really important to be successful and when looking for a coach you really got to think about not only their accomplishments that they've had but also their experience nothing really beats experience if you got a guy who's been coaching a year versus a guy who's been coaching over 20 years within a reasonable way you would go with the guy that's been coaching for over 20 years no doubt and then you also want someone who is a strong leader and you know has that winner mindset second thing i think you need to be successful is a good work ethic because um you can have the best coach in the world you can have the best program but if that athlete or you don't do the program or don't show up half the days of the week you are not going to get anywhere at least not in the long term you need someone who's going to follow the program strictly show up every day not only just do the workouts and do the program but make sacrifices along the way to get yourself where you want to be are you doing the extra stuff are you doing your recovery work and your accessories are you stretching out at home it's going going the extra mile so that when you your head hits the pillow at night you're, you're a sleepy guy you, you think to yourself you know what man i did i did everything i could possibly have done today i feel good about it I feel sore as shit but we're gonna we're gonna wake up again tomorrow and we're gonna crush it that's what i think is important you need that work ethic the third thing i think you need to be successful in olympic weightlifting is your outside environment so this means basically not only where you live but who you're surrounded with um, i'd say the best scenario is you're in a house full of weightlifters with the same goal as you or you're in a you're in a training camp um that's probably the best environment i think so not good environments you know would probably be a college dorm room which where i was last school year which wasn't the best so where you live has a big uh impact on your success because the food you eat you know i was eating dorm food by the time i got home from training there was nothing left also your sleep are you sleeping enough are you able to get eight hours in and then the other thing is who you're surrounded with are are the people you're surrounded with on different paths like are they are they frat boys is it is it brad and Brittany hanging out at the you know the sdfc the sun devil fitness center and then do a few arm curls and then head over to the pool later and, and slam some white claws that's not who you want to be surrounding yourself with you can but i promise you your journey in progress is going to be a lot harder um this is actually something i did struggle with especially in high school a lot of my friends they were on different paths a lot of them played football it was hard because you know i'd want to i'd want to finish training and get to the football game i'd want to be playing football it was it's doable though because in the back of my mind i had a goal and it's what i stuck to it definitely would have been easier you know if i was in like some training camp in eastern europe and i had no friends but I'm not, I live in America and we don't, we don't do that type of thing. So I don't know, I had to stick it out through the high school years 
and keep my tunnel vision. And I mean, you know, that's that's where my work ethic came in. It's all in a circle. It's all connects to itself. You can't have one. You can't have the other. You, these all five things for the uh, five outside environment is very important too. The next thing I think is super, super important that people kind of blow off a lot is your accessory work. Accessory work is so important in strengthening your small supportive muscles around your body and preventing injuries. There's so many people I know and even me sometimes, I hate doing accessory work. You just gotta do it because it's what allows you to lift those, lift those big weights. You know, I can't just go clean and jerk 170 kilos for five singles and then just walk out the door you know I gotta do I gotta do my core work I gotta do my bicep curls I gotta do my my band external rotations I don't really know what to do actually to help with ex like what helps accessory work I just I leave that up to coach Joe and then I just I just do whatever he says especially what I've noticed you gotta do your core you gotta do your core work core 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 it is so important and it will help prevent back injuries and just make you feel so much more solid overall so if you're not doing your accessory work start now and don't think it's some bullshit because it's not you need it and it's it's going to help you out tremendously um that's where that's where work ethic comes into and then that's also where um a good coach comes in play because a good coach knows to program accessory movements not bench press all the time but like every once in a while and the fifth thing i think you need to be successful in olympic weightlifting and i think truly not well not really the most important all of them are important but a mindset the right weightlifting mindset not work ethic i'm talking about that grit mindset because you can have the best coach the best environment you're doing your accessories you got the best work ethic but you know when it comes to competition time and you got to lift something you've never lifted before medals on the line or teams on the line are you gonna are you gonna shit the bed or are you gonna freaking and hit that thing at the gym we kind of like to call this type of thing it kind of falls into the lifting basically requires three things your head heart and your balls okay balls not meaning male just balls meaning that's just the phrase kind of came out as balls doesn't exclude females we're not saying that females can't lift there's many great female weightlifters the term balls is a metaphor if i may say it's referring to like full send if that rings a bell like full sending the lift or just you know just going after it it's, that's i i don't know how else to explain it you just girls have balls too not literally but like they m girls metaphorically have balls okay that's that's what we're going for here okay i'm getting off track you need that grit and you need that that confidence almost cockiness to lift well and push yourself to the limits and we're not even talking about competition here you know what i mean um we're talking about in training too when you're going through a hard session and you want to give up and you want to go home and you want to you want to go lay down and you want to turn on your xbox and you want to no. know you want to push through your workout it's that it's that greediness and that that hunger and that want and desire to get better and the desire to push your numbers and and beat everyone and win and medal and travel you know it's you need that grit and without that grit you are not going anywhere um you may get a little farther but when when things start getting tough and you know your weights are getting a little heavier you you really have to develop that grit and that is something i'm personally working on myself it has it's gotten a lot better it's been getting drilled into my head at the gym i'm at for the past like five years now it is something i'm always constantly working on especially when going after weights and workouts that i've never attempted before it is really something i'm wanting to get better at so that way i can excel um yeah um thank you guys for watching i really don't know what's going on going on in arizona right now covid so some gyms are open some gyms aren't open so yeah right now i'm sorry training vlogs gym vlogs training videos I'm gonna have to hold off for the time being but that is why i made a video like today's video because you guys are supporting me and i appreciate all your support so i want to continue to put out content and continue to be creative continue to try to help you guys out in any way i can because i appreciate everything you guys do for me so that's going to be the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to hit that sub button hit the thumbs up follow me on instagram follow me on twitch at awkward asian and you know um